Yo, what's going on, you pill poppers? It's Nick Daniels here, coming at you live yet again. And today, we continue my series. We just uh, dropped a deuce, and uh, we figured we'd continue my series here, uh, my mini-series, about uh, reading some Reddit fails on uh, dating from r slash ask Reddit. Um, so the, the question in, in particular was, what's like, what's your biggest dating fail story in online dating? And uh, we're reading some stories. So today, um, and I have not read these in advance. I'm just scrolling through. When I see a paragraph, I read it. So today, what we're going to be reading uh, is one by Bye Bye Lepron um, from two years ago. Mostly all two years ago. I think this one when originally the post was made, the question. So without any further ado, let's get right into it here. Uh, so I was 18, just registered to Tinder because I wanted to get my first girlfriend and stuff. Um, comment on that is I find Tinder definitely in my opinion, is younger for a demographic, a young, dem uh, sorry, I can't even word it right, is better for a young demographic. So if you're like, and I mean younger demographic, I don't mean like, oh, I'm 25, I'm great on Tinder. I mean, if you're like 18, 19, 20, I, in my opinion, you do well on Tinder as male or female, you will get matches, you will get dates. Uh, because it just, it seemed, it especially years ago, it def that's definitely what it seemed to be. And that was my experience as well. Um, so he matches, he goes, then I match with this beautiful girl from Switzerland. She's staying in the city for two days and wants to meet at her hotel to have a fun time during the afternoon. So right away, I mean, obviously he's not in Switzerland. So like she's in his area, wherever this might be. And a lot of people do this. I've done this. I mean, I haven't met anyone. Um, I mean, I've sexed it a little bit when I was in other places, but then I just realized I didn't want to meet him. Um, but I mean, I'll be in other places. Like I might be in like Toronto and I'll be like, oh, hey, I'll put Tinder on for a day or just for an example. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Or just go and have a, be have a beer and meet somebody. You don't have to have fun time <laughs> during the afternoon. That's pretty funny. Uh, my 18 year old self didn't want to, didn't want to see anything fishy. D didn't see anything fishy in that. I said, didn't want to, he, he wanted fishy. So 30 minutes later, I'm at her fancy hotel waiting for her to come down and pick me up to pick me up. Okay. So he's like, must be in the lobby is what I'm assuming. She's in the hotel room. Cause you probably can't get in. But she said she is waiting for her mom to leave. So I wait for about 20 minutes and I see an old man checking out of his window. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> no way, dude. Don't tell me. So I text the girl that there was a creepy old man being afraid that I was going to rob the hotel or something. Ha ha. Ten minutes later, she tells me that the, the, the another dude is arriving and that she invited him before me, but he wouldn't come. So she invited me after. Okay, so he was going to like no show. So then she invited him and now the original guy is showing up. So we would have to decide between the two of us who would get the girl. I mean, quite frankly, can you just share? Just saying. Uh, I saw, oh my god, okay, he actually, like, saw, okay, I don't know how he could tell the guy, though. I mean, maybe because he was just staring at his phone. That that can be a little bit of an indicator. If you know this information, it makes sense. I saw the guy arriving, a handsome-looking mid-20 guy, and I just, and I saw, I started to explain the situation to him, and that we should probably just play rock, paper, scissors or something, and not to think much about it. And he accepted. He was surprised. He lost. I won. And the guy left without a word. Okay, so I, I, I gotta just... I gotta, I gotta really say something here. Like, the fact that he knew that that was the guy, asked him about it, and then confronted him about it, and they all, they openly just played rock, paper, scissors. I mean, and the guy just took the L and left. That's, that's interesting. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure, by the way, my eye just skimmed down a line. I'm pretty sure it's a dude. But, that's funny. But, um... No, that's 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 really uh, honorable. I didn't think that that was going to be part of the story, but that's interesting. The fact that he went up and asked this guy, dude, big balls. Okay, so guy left without the word. Then the girl tells me in the end that her mom isn't leaving, so we cannot meet. I text her, it's okay, and wish her a good end of holidays, and that maybe we'll meet in Switzerland one day. Who knows? Okay, guy took the, guy took the loss. 20 minutes later, I receive a text from the girl telling me that she was, in fact, a dude. The old dude that I saw looking out this window. I knew it. I knew it. He was he was a retired man with no real hobby and had fun doing this kind of thing and watching sometime, sometimes dudes even fighting to get to um, have sex with his fake profile. He never told anyone but me because I didn't insult him and I resolved the problem with the other guy um, pretty simply. So he knew that I wouldn't get mad at him before he told him. Uh, I don't know if that's illegal, by the way, or not, but that's really, really hilarious and really scary in the same time. 
after that, after that, I talked to him for about an hour about how he should find another hobby like gaming, reading, or something. Um, and then after we, after that, we never talked again. I wrote, felt really sad for him because he didn't have any family or friends, but this was really effed up. Um, okay, final thoughts. Um, yeah, that, he, he's, he's got the better of it there. Like, that's a messed up thing to do. Um, now, before you say anything, yes, I have made fake female profiles. I have one actually active. Um, I don't respond to people, right? It's just to wage and make some videos. And I, I mean, they get a couple dislikes, whatever. I mean, who cares? But it, it just shows the thirst of men online, right? And that's, that's why I do it. I, I'm not going to meet them. That's messed up. Um, even when I'm doing is slightly messed up, but, uh, that's more messed up. So that's all right. Um, but, um, yeah, the fact that he actually had the conversation with this very interesting at the end that he actually was like, Hey, like I, I, maybe they called or something. Um, and he, and he gave him the right advice. He was like, yeah, maybe you don't, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you, you know, like, you don't know who's going to show up, man. Like for the old guy, like I'd be careful, but like, was he just actively like getting hotels? Like, I wonder if he would like travel somewhere and then like, be like, hey, I'll just text people randomly. I, I don't know, man. That It's a pretty rough one, but it's very interesting and it's really funny. And I'm glad that this kid smartened up really, really fast and was like, yeah, don't do that. This is why I always, 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 always stress meet in a public location. Meet every time public location. Don't do booty calls. Meet in a public location. Because if you meet in a public location, you can be like, okay, cool. Now I want to have a booty call. Now we can do it because I've met you and I know who you are and vice versa. Um, and you, you should be a little bit more safer. Also, another idea, mainly more for women, I would suggest, is maybe even tell somebody too. be like, hey, you know, I'm going here. Right. Like the, the other one I did about the receptionist. Not a bad idea. All right. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We're going to keep scrolling. We'll see what we can find. Take it easy.